Well, could parents of a California elementary student be looking to go to prison for sending their sick child to school? That's a possibility. We're going to talk about all the details of this craziness in just a second, guys. First, if you could, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. Also, if you could, consider making a generous donation here to our ministry. You guys can help us out in a major way on PayPal or Patreon, as little as five bucks a month. Sign up there. You get access. All the links to the YouTube videos are posted there, so you get alerted every time new content arrives. YouTube's not going to alert you for all these videos. You guys can also comment there, censorship-free, and send me direct messages. Don't forget also to sub to me on Rumble. That's our backup in case we're kicked off YouTube. We already post there. So go check it out. All those links down below. A big thank you to everybody already contributing and for those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity greatly appreciated. So what went on here? Well, Marin County, located in Northern California, they are targeting a pair of parents who allegedly sent their sick child to school that had tested positive for the Rona. Now, this happened back on around November the 18th. And according to the county, there is a health order in place that anybody who tests positive, that they must self-isolate, quarantine for up to 10 days. Now the school, they're not releasing the name of the school, said that the parents were aware of this, that they had tested the child, they had tested positive. However, they had sent them to school Anyway, now the school is in a little bit of trouble as well because health department and other officials are getting involved saying, how did you not know about this? How did you allow the child to continue to come to the school? Because reportedly it has now caused an outbreak amongst other students at the school. Now, school officials said that once they found out that the sick child was still coming to school, which by the way, we don't even know if they actually had symptoms, nothing like that. I guess the, the sibling um, also was going to school, uh, so it was around. It's, you know, the one that was actually supposedly had tested positive and all this, so they're freaking out. They rushed to swab as many kids as they possibly could. They said they swabbed up to at least 50 kids that they thought could have been impacted by this one supposed sick child. And they said that they got at least eight that came back positive. Now they're saying that three of them we're conf they're confirming. I don't know how they're doing this, but they're saying that th this was definitely due to uh, in-person contact there within the school, these three positive cases. And the other five, they say, uh, were positive from you know outside of the school. Again, I, I don't know how they're making these determinations here, but they're just saying this. <laughs> so the school saying that they're completely horrified by this, that the parents would do this, that they have vulnerable staff members there that are on site at the school that could be subject to severe illness or possibly even, yes, death by this elementary student that may have had a cold and came to school. I mean, you guys remember back in the day, kids would go to school sick all the time. They'd be puking, they'd be doing all kinds of weird stuff, sneezing, hacking up a lung everywhere, and nobody freaked out then. But of course, things have changed, haven't they? So the parents allegedly face, yes, the possibility of serving prison time. Now they could also face fines. That's a possibility, but this could be punished up to, yes, even jail time for them. Now, according to officials, the parents have already been disciplined or reprimanded in another way, not associated to the other pending charges that could be put against them. They have not said what those disciplinary actions were. And we also do not have a statement from the parents, just the school and Marin County freaking out that a sick child was sent to the school. Yes, this is what we now deal with here um, as we're going into the year 2022. The possibility of parents facing jail time for sending a supposed sick child to school. I think it's the school officials that should be sent to jail for the way that they've handled this whole situation and for the garbage that they are even teaching these kids in the schools to begin with. I always advocate for homeschool if you can do it. I mean, public school is the worst place you could possibly have these kids. Um, and, you know, this could be even a private school. You know, I'm not even sure. They're just not even saying the name of it. But the whole point of this is that it's absolutely ridiculous to try to put these, you're going to punish these kids by putting their parents in, possibly put them in jail. 
uh, yeah, I, I'm sure you'll, that'll work wonders for them in their life. These people are disgusting. They're sick. And I could say a bunch of other things, but I'll get in trouble, so I'm going to refrain from doing that. Look, it's all happening, ladies and gentlemen, because we're in the last days, and Jesus Christ is coming back soon. Question is, are you ready to make him your Lord and Savior, to accept him as Savior? And I would, If not, I would love to lead you in a prayer right now to get you to accept Christ. And you could do this prayer in your own words, but I'll give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord today. The first thing that you want to do, and for some this is the most difficult, but that's to acknowledge that you're a sinner. It's something that we all are, but God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. That means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from lifestyles or habits, whatever it is in your life that goes against the word of God. You ask Jesus to forgive you. He'll wipe that sin away. The Bible says he won't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you, there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. I pray you make that decision today. I'll have more for you guys on this down below. You can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you could help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.